Microconductor add-on is a unique overclock. It originally was going to be its own overclock till Ghost Ship decided to add it to Turret Arc. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about this change to Turret Arc. What Microconductor does is allow you to not only create an electrical arc between your turrets, but also between your platforms as well. Allowing you to create as big of an area denial as you want. with the downsides of a slower rate of fire and less ammo. Now, it's nice that you are able to create a bigger area for electrifying the bugs, but this still creates the same problem of staying in one area when on higher hazards, you want to be moving around as much as you can to avoid taking damage. If I ranked this overclock with the rest of the 12 other overclocks upon release of this season, I'd say it'd be about a 5 out of 10, but I guess the gameplay will have to speak for itself. You'll see. Alrighty. I just got home from an eight-hour shift. And I'm running off of pure fucking coffee. I've never used this overclock before. I wish I did when it first came out. So now it's apparently really good. I didn't like the old version of it. It's connected to the turrets. Now it should... Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Hopefully this build will be pretty good. Oh. Whoa, calm down there, Bosco. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's working out pretty well. Ow, Goober! Oh, Lord! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's right, look at the funny dancing man. That was a lot of Mactera. Oh! Oh. Nope. Oh, look at this. Ow! At least it's not like Hazard 5 plus 8. I need a Steve. Here, Steve. Nope. Me here. Oh, can I affect different parts of the platform? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So I don't have to just affect one part of the platform. Oh, the nightmare. <clears throat> oh, you son of a bitch. Let me go, let me go. So I started a new job. If anyone was wondering, my old job, I was working at Panera. Don't buy their food. It's really bad. But now I started a new job. I work overnights, so my, my, my recording schedule is going to be a little bit different nowadays than how it was before. Oh god. I also just recently moved. That's why I've been taking so long to make videos. And it really upsets me that I wasn't able to make a lot of videos when Season 5 first came out. But now I want to catch up on all the stuff that I missed out on. Oh, there's another cave leech. Okay. Is there another cave leech? I'm playing on Hazard 5 plus 2. With... Oh! With two times spawns. Because I enjoy having a lot of bugs to fight. Yeah, there's another cave leech. That's cool that you can affect different parts of the platform. This is so much easier to deal with than Hazard 5 Plus 8. Yes. 
What are you even shooting at? No, my Steve. That's what he was shooting at. He was shooting at my Steve. Can I just get up here, please, and kill this Vartok? Oh, Lord. Ah, this isn't working out as well as I thought it would. Yeah, I need to get a resupply down. Oh, there's another cave leech somewhere. Okay, I can get a resupply down. Alright, running out of ammo really fast. There we go. Okay, Vartok, I want you to die. There you go. That's the intended purpose of this build. Throw the lore grenades in the middle. Fuck you. We're rich. Steve. That does last a long time. Wow. That is pretty cool. Okay, I can. I can't kill it. Good. Here, come here. Come here. Come here, bugs. Step in the fire. This is what I get for stepping in this bubble. There we go. Now, can I get these legs, please? <gasps> you fucking killed my Steve! Another goober. This is like non-stop chaos. Steve? <laughs> I don't know why Steve's ghost is just there chilling out. There's one more leg up here. And a nut sack. Boing. And boom. Cool. Oh lord. My electricity doesn't do anything to flying enemies. Try and come at me if you dare, Praetorian. Or you see, you are being slow. Oh, I'm out of... Oh god! Get me out of here. Oh. I thought I had enough HP to survive that. All right, now it's time to collect nuts. It'd be really scary if there was a cave leech up here. No. I was just about to say, how the hell am I alive? I gotta get down to my turrets. My turrets aren't even over here. There we go. I should have enough nuts now. Really wish I had EM discharge right now. Get out of here. You also get out of here. All right, we have to cover this entire thing. And we cover you up. Platforms. And then we give ourselves a roof. I hear bugs. There we go. That wasn't too bad. My platforms are lethal now. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh, 
Please don't go down like how that just went. Come on, Steve, be my distraction. Shut up, I'm not jeopardizing shit. There's a stalker. Where the hell is he? There he is. Nope. I'm probably gonna die. I am gonna die. Please, please, please. Here, look at this. Oh, son of a bitch. Alrighty, that never happened. Oh god, there's a meatball. It's working! Holy crap. The plan is finally working. Holy shit, there's a stalker. Good luck trying to get to me, stalker. Meanwhile, I am in here in my electrical cage. <laughs> That's right, dig away. I'm out of here. Yay! Nice. Alright, well... This new variant of Turd Arc is, it's still, it, it's like really cool, but it, I still feel like it's kind of underpowered. I do like that you're able to shoot the platforms now. It does make it a lot more versatile to cover a lot more area with the electricity though. All in all though, it's pretty alright overclock.